Welcome back. Now, everybody pretty much knows by now that the world's brightest pop can flashlight is the X80 GT. Uh, so it's 32,500 lumens, so therefore it must be the king of the pop can lights, right? I mean, who could dispute that? However, I get emails all the time. People are asking me, Matt, what if I want to run my light for more than 29 seconds? Is there a light that's super bright, all around good, everyday user? I'm glad you asked. This is the limited edition through night TN36. Also a nice pop canny light here. So quick shout out to Through Night for sending me this light for review. Thank you for that. Uh, let's take a look. The TN36 Limited is a triple XHP 70.2 LED light. It has that same awesome orange peel reflector that its predecessor had and that gorgeous brushed aluminum around the reflector and then our anodized aluminum bezel. Now, if you remember, I reviewed the older model of this light in my video, uh, Brightest Flashlights 2017 Top 5 Best, and it was a great light then. Uh, the difference between that one and this one is a couple things. We got the 70.2 LEDs in it rather than the original XHP70 lights. Um, something I liked about both versions of it is you see this how this, uh, the ridge that runs up toward the switch, how that's raised right there. I like that because it makes it a little bit easier to find the switch in the dark. Most, most front light e-switch lights, I, it's hard for me to find the switch and this, I think that helps some. Now the limited does also come in cool and neutral white. I chose the cool white version. Um, let's take a quick look at the user interface. Okay, we go click for on, click for off, from off, if we press and hold, that'll give us the Firefly. Uh, from any position, we can double click and get Turbo. Uh, a press and hold will give us a ramp. It'll go up, down, when you see the flash. You can see it better at the top. When you see it flash, that's it telling you, hey, we're at max power or we're at minimum power. So you just let off and there's that. Okay, on to the important stuff, sustainability. Um, both lights have a turbo timer. This one has the 30 second one. Um, on turbo, this also does have a temperature sensor. Um, you get about five minutes on their maximum output turbo. Um, sustainability, all right. The GT, the highest output that it has with no one minute timer, 30 second timer, I tested at uh, 3648, 3648 lumens. The high mode in the TN36 Limited, I got 6236 lumens. Powered this on, ran it. 10 full minutes, and when I came back, I checked the body right here, right in the middle where you'd hold it, 128 degrees. So I could still, I could grip that solidly, comfortably, good to go. I let it run another 10 minutes, and when I came back, it had only, it had only risen about 8 degrees. However, it the, the uh, temperature sensor had dialed the output back a little bit at the 20 minute mark, by the 20 minute mark. Unfortunately, I can't say exactly when it dialed back because the camera was not on. Uh, but however, um, at that point, we still had 3,477 lumens, which is you know where we started with the, the GT. So I thought that was pretty good. Now, if you're still kind of on the fence about what, you know, why not just just get the GT and run it on the lower modes. If the 10 to 20 minutes of extra sustainable run time is you know, not that big of a deal. Uh, one other huge difference is the price. The TN36 Limited is $200 less money than the X80 GT. 
The X80GT is about a $329 light. This is about a $130 or $139 light. So um, am I saying that I like the TN36 better than the G X80GT? No. What I am saying is if you're looking for an all-around user type light with reasonably sustainable output for a much more budget-friendly price, this might be a light for you to consider. Okay, let's do a quick wall hunt here. Uh Okay, mostly uh, what I want to look at here is the color uh, over here. Let's look on the door. Uh, that wall is kind of a peach color, and this is a, a true white. Uh, people ask all the time, you know, are you getting green because of the XHP 70.2? And, you know, a lot of times you do get that. Um, with this, I'm really not seeing it. I'm seeing... Uh, and hopefully the camera's seeing the same thing. I see, you know, a very white hot spot in the middle that is a little bit yellow. You know, probably 5700K, I guess. And around the edge of that hot spot is where I usually, or at least where I usually see the odd colors. And if I look at it really hard on that, on that door, uh... I can see a little tiny bit of that discoloration, kind of a greenish yellow, but really it's not bad. Mostly what I see there is just good clean white with some yellow, so not terrible. Uh, I'm going to say it's, it's mostly not green. Okay, let's talk beam profile. This is the X80 GT. That is on my high mode. That's the highest sustainable mode that it has. And we do nice wide. It's smooth. We get all the way to the sheds. A little bit on the top of the tree there. Not bad. Now the through night TN36 Limited. Still got coverage pretty much edge to edge. Not quite as wide, but we're really just slaying the sheds clear out there. At the top of that tree there. Well, you can see anything that's up there. And this is high. This is not turbo. It's our highest sustainable mode. We can keep that on. Just for fun, we'll look at the turbo. I can see a little bit of difference. Not a huge between 8,000 and 11,000, but I, yeah, I can see a difference. Back to our high.
For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good lucks.